I was in surgical device sales before uh, this, uh, and I met a PA in the operating room, and I thought she was a doctor, and I didn't know what a PA was. I was a physical therapist technician, and I really enjoyed working with patients. And as I began to become more integrated in the healthcare field, I found out what a physician assistant was, and I saw how much patient contact they had. Well certainly I think the location of this university is very advantageous to preparing somebody to enter the world as a physician assistant simply because uh, it's basically immersed with tons of great hospital institutions. You've got the DMC, the Henry Ford system, Beaumont Hospital, you've got all these hospitals you know at your disposal. The way that the lectures are taught, you've got physicians actually coming over from the DMC to give your lecture. When you look at the Wayne State PA program, our main mission and goal is to train highly educated physician assistants that can practice <clears throat> in an urban underserved environment. PAs by nature are licensed healthcare providers that practice medicine that really try to extend the practice of the physician that they're working with. One of our long-standing programs is Special Olympics and uh, we work with the occupational therapy and physical therapy students uh, to provide all of the pre-sport health appraisals for Detroit Special Olympians and that's uh, a program that we're very proud of. I, I would say that the classes have prepared me very well. Um, so when I first started, for example, our first site visit, um, I felt like so intimidated. Now in our second semester, I feel like I actually kind of know what the doctors or uh, other PAs, preceptors are talking about. I think your first year you need to read everything you possibly can. Um, you're sort of in a bubble of academic where everyone around you is reading and you'll never have that opportunity again to read as much as you can. That's what's going to save a patient in the future. There are going to be times where you're here all day long, you're studying all night long, you're super tired, all you want to do is sleep, but you just got to find that last little ounce of energy to, to review that one subject or to stay late and to you know see that patient with the really unique exam findings that you might not ever see again in your career. Um, and it's sometimes those experiences that stay with you for a lifetime.